340 News at 4. I told my daughter, I said, that's the guy. I said, I'm really worried that your car was involved in this. An Alabama father makes a shocking realization. Exclusive video shows why he says his daughter was also a victim of the man. Police say murdered a Bibb County Sheriff's deputy. Good afternoon. Pam Huff has the afternoon off. Court documents obtained by ABC 3340 News show there's another victim in the case we haven't heard about until now. We have team coverage with the very latest information on Austin Hall. We start with ABC 3340's Ashley Gooden. She is live in Calera. Ashley. Stephen and Brenda, this has been quite the week for the Rouse family. Alan Rouse tells me his daughter is a delivery driver here at the Papa John's in Calera, and her car was stolen while she was on the clock. Now she was driving her car and parked right behind this building, as she usually does, to pick up more pizzas. And while she was inside, a man was lurking. This surveillance video shows a man pacing back and forth in the grass area near the building. The man appears to match the description of Austin Patrick Hall. He drinks the rest of the beverage in his hand, stops for a moment, and then gets into the 2008 Toyota Corolla and drives off. It was not a very nice car. I mean, we're talking about a 2008 Toyota Corolla that's maybe worth three, four, five thousand dollars, and guy lost his life over it. That's just senseless. Like we do feel sad. I mean, it, it just it's it hurts for anybody to lose their life, but over something so inconsequential. Uh, Alan tells me his daughter was driving that car. It was her first car, and this is her first job. Now, she also has been driving because she has health issues that prevent her from standing long periods of time. Papa John's has been working with her to find other ways she can help without her car. Stephen? Ashley Gooden reporting live. During a hearing this morning, Austin Hall, the suspect in this case, was charged with three counts of capital murder and one count of attempted murder. He was also appointed an attorney. This is not his first time facing criminal charges. Hall has been charged more than 40 times in Alabama over the last decade, ranging back to when he was a teenager. Those charges, by the way, range from traffic violations to burglary, breaking and entering, and even eluding police. In Chilton County, he pleaded guilty to a second degree assault charge back in 2018. He escaped from work release in 2019, leading to a chase with Oxford police before being recaptured. Hall was charged with assault a second time after the Calhoun County Sheriff says he choked a corrections officer in 2020. ABC 3340's Aaron Wise joins us. Aaron, the question I see in here by so many people in response to what's happened this week, how is a man like this not in jail or even prison? Stephen, it's definitely caused some to ask if the justice system is broken. Alabama Attorney General Steve Marshall saying in a statement yesterday the system failed Deputy Brad Johnson and investigator Chris Poole by allowing a violent offender like Hall to walk free. Now, I sp spoke with the Attorney General today. He says they are examining exactly why Hall was on the street. He bonded out of jail in April 2022. Anyone has the right to bond except in cases of capital offenses. Marshall says there are factors that can be looked at when setting the bond amount, like someone's risk to the community or the defendant's likelihood of showing up to court. For Marshall, Hall's escape while serving time for a previous sentence should have been a factor. As he went back through the system, knowing that he had that escape, you know, that escape should have been something that, that likewise should have held him in one of our county jails, specifically uh, you would believe that would have occurred uh, in the in the jurisdiction in which the escape occurred. When we went back through Hall's court records, we didn't find any evidence an escape charge was ever filed. Marshall says his office is asking why that didn't happen and if it should have. Hall's previous record also striking a chord with the law enforcement community. At five, a local police chief asked, when will there be enough loss before things change?